Hi, my name is Tsuba and I'm a math expert. And today we're going to be going over games or ideas to help teach decimals. So if we're, we're learning how to do decimals, we already have a basic knowledge of fractions. So what we want to do is take that basic knowledge of fractions and use it to help us visualize and understand decimals. And the keyword there is visualize. So a good idea to do this is to take a fraction strip, which I'm going to draw for you right now. It's basically a cut out of a piece of paper divided into 10 little pieces. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, because decimals are based on tens, we, it's important to start with a fraction strip, 10 little pieces. And we, what you do is you would ask them how they would label each one of these pieces. And of course, it would be 1 tenth. Each of these is 1 tenth, which we know from what we've already learned with fractions. Then if we were to color in three of these, it would give us three out of 10. When we introduce fractions, we're gonna be introducing the fact that there's a tens place, which is the first spot after the decimal, one hundreds place, which is the second spot after the decimal, thousands place, just keeps going and going and going. So now, three out of 10, three is gonna go in the tens place right here. 0.3. So that's a good way to help them understand. So here we had 10, 3 out of 10, goes right in that tens place. Now the reason I want to use fraction strips is because if we were to put something in the hundreds place, say we have 0 0.03, now you might think, oh, 100, that's bigger than 10, but of course that's not the case. And a good way to help them visualize that would to be ha another fraction strip that you can line up right next to it. So say we had one of these, and it was divided into a hundred little pieces, and we wanted to color in just three of them. And obviously, if you were to line these two up, this is much smaller than that one. And that's a good way for them to help visualize and start understanding what the tens, the hundreds, and the thousands place means. My name is Suba Gerwal. Uh, that was a quick idea on how to help teach decimals, and thank you for taking an interest in math.